And welcome back, everybody, to episode two of our Demetrios Periocles campaign as Bithynia with the Demetrios Periocles overhaul mod of the Wrath of Sparta campaign. So we just got done with a battle defending our capital from some annoying rebels, which I think we're going to enslave them, teach them to rebel against us. And public order problems. Alrighty, though. They're going to try and recruit again and go at it again, but we're going to have to just deal with it. Alright. So, Sestos will rebel. I'm not worried about Sestos. They can take it. It served its purpose of giving us financial income. This army is 11 strong. It's got 3 ranged, but it has some strong units in it comparatively speaking to us but we will march on them well I say march I think we're going to come here and we're going to I don't necessarily think we need to give up these four spearmen to boost this army since it's already got an advantage over it and staying here should mean we'll get one more turn to decide if we need to recruit mercenaries so back to what we're doing See, this is giving squalor, and it's concerning. Because any of these buildings do not give squalor. Okay, so the shipwrights do not. However, they're not as beneficial because we don't get the food. But if we... 210, 8 food, 210 from well, 210. I think... So this only gives the benefits of the ship hole and the industry and a garrison this gives new military or navy units at the cost of food though this has no downsides i think we're going to go ahead and get the ship right when we can i don't think it's necessary to get it now though meanwhile though at ileon we're going to upgrade its farming capabilities i believe maybe all these reduce squalor or no the main city or the main settlement does not so I think we're going to get the farming settlement, get home wealth from farming and agriculture. And then we're going to save our money and end a turn. As we seem to have a battle coming up that will be a bit more epic than the last two that we have fought in the previous episode. And yep, they fully think that they're just going to be able to march on us. The rebels decided to come at us again. We're going to auto-resolve this one. 62%, take it. Yeah, right in the face. Enslave them. They're going to pull back again. Uh, this one... Honestly, we could probably win this. We could probably win it. But the question is... Do we really want to? We'll let the rebels take it. Who cares? I want to quick save just in case this is a bad idea. But we're going to let the rebels take it. We don't need Cestos. We will be back to take it. But for now, they can have it. Gymnasium's been complete. That's good. Yeah, that is fine. Nobody, if they do, and if they're allowed to recruit a full stack, nobody will be able to take that settlement for a while. We're gonna go for... I don't really think the ship ram is useful. However, that is tax rate. That's beautiful. Alrighty. Also, fun little tip, right, or not tip, but fun little fact. Uh, the Ruins of Troy. Ten morale for all armies and fleets. That's the Ruins of Troy. <laughs> I will. I may, I might do a Troy Let's Play one day, but just I just like, I love seeing that. I didn't know it was in the base game. That's cool. Alright, so we've got 14 troops, 4 skirmishers, 4 hoplites, 3 melee, 2 cavalry, and a general. They've got two cavalry, both attack, one general, three pikes, two hoplites, three ranged. The ranged are longer than us. We might want to recruit one, maybe one extra cavalry unit. Just to give us the advantage for now. But we're going to go in there. And we're going to fight this. So let's get on the campaign, or the uh, battle map. <laughs> I mix those two up quite often for some reason.
Oh boy, I've been off work for like four days and my back's hurting. We're gonna wait. Rain. We're gonna wait again. We're gonna wait again. Dry. There we go. Alrighty, so we're gonna have to take this one a bit more serious. Uh, there you are. But these guys don't have any special abilities. Okay, and we'll put the general with the main hoplite line. I want to put him in the center though. Uh, there is a way to rearrange these guys, but I do not remember how. I think that's how. Oh, we gotta line them up first. Like that. The general will be in the center. There we go. And then this javelins behind them. Thracian warriors on the far left, supported by the cavalry. Alrighty, let's get in there. And let's march. Let's look at the mercenaries. I haven't seen too many mercenary units. Ooh, that is not the mercenaries. No. Oh, the mercenaries are on this side. Ooh, they look nice, shiny, and uh. I like the red. That's a cool little red they got going on. They look very more. They look very armored compared to most of our men, but that's all right. Skirmishes are already getting ahead of their troops. Look at the enemy army here. Here is the Alclandros Gima Hoplites. They looking snazzy. Looking like they're gonna be a problem. They look like they are also equipped with javelins. Then he's got some pikemen, and then more upgraded pikes, then some hoplites, and then over here he's got some Hippias lancers, I believe. And then over here he's got, oh no, these I think are the Sarissa, Sarissa lancers, and these are, I guess, comparable to citizen hoplites, or not hoplites, citizen cavalry. Alrighty though, enough chit chat. Let's move our forces. Put our cavalry in the trees there, it would be pretty nice. We'll speed it up for you all. I don't like how the skirmishers keep getting ahead, but that's alright. We're gonna wait actually, it's not alright. We want them to wait for the rest of the forces. Make sure the cavalry are all hidden in these trees. <clears throat> Make sure these guys are bringing up the rear. Skirmishers can now go there. The general is obviously the slowest. Come on. Alright. And we're about to be in range of their forces. So, with that being said, we're going to go into guard mode. March. And then skirmishers go right there. Back them up. You two. Go there. Go there. So they should be firing now. Yep, here they come. Their first volley against us. And nobody got hurt. Good. Alright, they seem to be going for an all-out assault. Run. Ooh, go for their general. He's exposed. Let's try and eliminate their range at advantage. Ooh. That's okay with me. If they kill our mercenaries, that's less for us to pay. Oh, pull back. Oh, they can go into loose formation. That's cool. Once we deal with their cavalry, we'll be able to move our forces in. Hit their pikes, actually. Let's hit their pikes. Ooh, break off. We're breaking them here. Come on, come on. They're wavering, wavering. Come on, 
This unit can handle that on its own. We're withering away their pike line, thankfully. That unit's broken. Excuse me. We're going to march our rest of our hoplite line up. Go for their skirmishers. Nice rear charges. They can't do anything to stop us. Alright, we don't want these pikes to engage. So we're just going to keep doing what we're doing here. Now you guys get in there. Go for them. Oh, they're throwing javelins at us. Shit. I didn't. I forgot they had javelins. The pike lines engaged our general. Okay, let's pull these guys over here. We're breaking them in all sense of the manner. There we go. Beautiful. Their army is getting decimated. These few pikemen trying to hold a line. Meanwhile, they're surrounded. Get him. Oh, get him. Oh, dead. The Sika blades are deadly. And we broke that unit. And oh, he cut in half. Cut in half. Their general looks to have gotten involved, though. Oh, I don't know what's going on here, but get back in there, boys. Come on. Hold, men. Hold. Kill them. Kill them proper. Oh, they're routing. Stab them. Don't let them leave. Ooh. Oh. This is not a good time to be on the enemy side. And their general is breaking, too. Even he can't hold. And he is a... The Agima. We're going to be able to probably get a few more cinematic shots compared to uh, what we normally get. But there we go. A decisive victory. Eliminating uh, the... What was it? The Brave Companions... Who got the most kills in our army here? Let's see. 170 goes to the cavalry unit. Alrighty, let's kill them. We don't need to enslave too many captives. That army is destroyed. Let's get rid of that mercenary unit. And let's kill what's left of them. And now we push for Pergamon. I'm a little worried about the rebel army. It's still alive. Hopefully our men can hold. But it's... We can reclaim that always. Taking Pergamon would be quite beneficial to us. And it would also unite our province. Other than my team. My Tilene, which is owned by Macedon. Or Dimitrios. Not Macedon. Sorry, I'm going to have... Some of these names are going to be confusing because the symbols are still the same symbols for some of these. But I'll do my best to change that up. Alrighty. So. Over here. We can probably merge these Thracians. There we go. And there we go. So we have 13 troops. Let's see. What do we want? What do we want? These men are a lot better. Hmm, let's see here. Let's see. Do we want another hoplite? Do we, can we afford another hoplite? I don't think we can, really. We're going to wait. I think. I want to take this army and march back. 13. That's okay. Let's end our turn. We're going to send that army, the second army, back up to our capital to engage that rebel force. 
They keep on attacking, though. As long as we can keep winning this. The rebels are trying their best. Kill them this time. Yep, they're slowly withering away, so we might not actually have to worry about them too much. Move them down this way. Pergamon is still... No army is near it, that's good. And we're going to have him march back up. We're sitting at a negative 22 right now. Provincial instability and events. The plague, yeah, I forgot. Plague's still here. And then autumn. There's nothing we can do, I don't think, about the squalor sanitation issue. We might, maybe if we destroy this, perhaps. Perhaps. Maybe. I don't, I don't really know. I don't know what to do. Alrighty, though. Let's end our turn one more time. And yeah, we're going to get a lot more turns in on this uh, campaign than we do the standard. Yeah, wow, they're really trying. And our garrison is gone, but it still says we will have victory. It's the general. We can't kill that general for some reason. Hey, our spy got a nice little trait. Our farming settlement is done. So we have a little bit of a stronger garrison there, I think. Oh, no, the garrison's like the same. Interesting. He shall march north, and he shall march south. Pergamon is still exposed. This is prime taking for us. I think we have enough money to recruit mercenaries if we need it. Life March has an army north of us. They seem to be suffering from attrition, though. Ah, oh, what a shame. The more struggles they get, the bigger we grow. Let us go ahead and one more in turn. Yeah, it's going to be a lot quicker. You can tell it. That's why this is only taking up one recording slot, except for the introductory week is what I'll call it. And it seems after many attempts, the rebel general has decided he is done living. Well, looks like we don't need to actually send the army that we have going there that way at all. Athenian's warning. Byzantium has declared war on Lice March as well. We might. That's interesting. We don't want Byzantium to get too strong. Because obviously we would go to war with them soon after solidifying our rule here in uh, uh, Maesia. All right. This is it. This is the this is the moment, and it is. Oh, they are already suffering from what seems to be some sort of plague. We are going to quick save, and I think let's get a cool little siege battle in here. We're probably going to take too many casualties for it to be worth it, but why not? It's not DEI, so. The loading times are a lot nicer, means a lot less editing I gotta do unless I accidentally press the wrong key like I did in the last Adavasi episode I did, but that's okay. Nobody saw that, I'm sure. Alright, oh, a little backtrack there, and here we are. Pergamon. So the towers are gonna do the most damage, probably. More than likely they are. I don't really think we'll need our cavalry too much. So we're going to equip our Massalian Hoplites. We're probably going to... Let's take these two down and get Thracian Warriors up there. We're going to have them go for the center. Hoplites are going to go for the towers. Skirmishers can't do much either. So everybody else gets to just sit back and relax. Go for there. Go for there. Go for there. Go for there. Alrighty. Speed it up. We'll see if we can survive the onslaught. They've put their pike infantry on the wall, but they can't use their pikes, as far as I know. So we are taking casualties already. That's okay. Hold, men. Hold. Oh, that tower looks like it's going to catch fire. But it's reached the walls. 
we've lost two two men from arrow fire wow I would not climb that if you told me to you boys are stronger than me though that's for sure the Thracian warriors are gonna jump right onto the what looks like the pike units and over here this will be interesting and it could be bloody go ahead and move We can probably go ahead and move these guys up, honestly. Along with these guys, we're gonna put here, actually. Cavalry will move around to the sides. No engagement other than over here. Hoplites will try and take the gates. Oh, go this way, boys. We've managed to secure this side a little bit better. Thracian warriors are going to take a lot of casualties, I think. But thankfully, the pikemen are horrible in uh, melee, as far as I know, without their pikes. That was a mob unit. Come on, boys. Hurry. Move. being shot in the back by that tower, but this Masali unit, or this Hoplite unit is taking a lot of casualties right now because of the javelins being thrown at it. There we go. Let's get this tower to stop firing at us, Jesus. We'll allow the Thracian warriors to mop up these two units here. Meanwhile, this unit over here is handling all that's being thrown at it. The Hoplite-esque style with the capes is really, really good. Really cool. The battle's taking place on the walls, though. It's really hard to get any sort of good uh, sight on it, that's for sure. Oh, we're killing some routing mob units that they've got over here. No one's allowed to live. Kill them all. Damn, okay. Really going at it. Heat was dead, I think, a long time before. Alright, let's get our Thracian warriors down there. Get into the combat. warriors on those skirmishers come on boys we must take Pokemon their general is obviously just chilling doesn't really know the walls have all been lost but lost there we go we got some brave Thracians down here already on the ground dealing with some levies and now the Masala or the uh, Hoplites I'm gonna Fuck up their names the entire time because it's using the Massalian unit card, I believe. Yep. The battle for the walls is always hard to see, but we're getting there. It's just a lot of levies, honestly. This army is doing very well for itself. Very, very well. It's not lost too much. I figured that we were going to actually lose a decent amount. But we managed to completely annihilate them. Come on, boys, get up there. Go ahead. And that, this unit is holding somehow with 17 men it is holding. Man, they're doing well for themselves up here. Come on. Oh, stab to the heart. And there we go. The walls and everything else in it is ours. And the general, I bet he's going to rout as soon as we get close. Guarantee he will rout before... We Oh, we've, we've lost sight of him. Come on, boys. Get in there. Oh, where we almost see him. We can almost see him. I wonder if he's going to route before we get to him. Oh, it looks like he's holding strong, so... Tell the cavalry to go off. 
General's in there. And there we go. I didn't expect the General of the uh, Pike line to hold for too much longer. I did get a little worried, though. And as you can see, Thracian Warriors, 236 kills. Freaking beautiful. And we are going to occupy, I think. Oh, raising, though. That's a lot less provincial instability. Yeah, let's raise it to the ground. At your command. Repair the main structure. And let's get some cool new things. Let's get the horse corral. Which gives us some pretty good horses. Or at least allows access to our horse units. The muster field has two different branches. So we're going to get... Okay, first I think we should actually get this, the Sacred Grounds. Then we'll grab the Muster Field. No, I think we do need Calvary. And then, let's see here. What do we want next? What do we want next? Craftsman is all about industry. We're going to cost, it's going to cost a lot of squalor though. We don't have a building to negate that. This gives three public order, two sanitation, banditry, champions, and security. This gives pretty lackluster abilities. That gives food and banditry and spies. Uh, let's go ahead and probably, we probably want to grab a commons, I would think. Small food storage. I mean, it's beneficial if we were in the middle of hostile territory, but we're not. And now our spy, we can send further south. The Life Smarts do have two settlements here right next to each other. But they are undefended currently, which is beneficial. With Perganavon being taken, the general can level up once more. Let's see here. For replenishment ring, ammunition, and armor. That sounds pretty nice. Or do we want that? Uh, Master Attacker. Honestly, I think we might want to go for the Law Keeper. Because we really need to help with this public order problem going on right now. Alright. And let's upgrade. You are still suffering from public order, which sucks. This, I also noticed, by the way, gives us the ship hole. So that one benefit here would be somewhat negated. Uh, almost instantaneously. So I think we might actually go for the military wharf even though it does impact our food. I do think it's worth it. Because it does still give us the wealth, and it still gives us all the benefits. Without the squalor issues that we are suffering. So the military wharf it is. And now there we go. We have secured Maesia, except for, obviously, the place held by Magnon. Or Demetrios. Greetings, honored guests. They refuse to trade, but it's growing. Simple. Ah, they... Alright. So, they're, they've While accepted the non-aggression pact, but they do refuse to still trade with us. Of your offer is Meanwhile, Lice March is split in half, with its capital abandoned by the rest of its holdings. It'll be interesting to see how Byzantium does grow, though, if they do push and become a threat on our northern border. But we're going to end our turn for now, and that is a lot of cloud coverage. Legal documentation. Oh, how beautiful. And the plague of Athens has struck Athens. Has struck, you know, the one it's affecting, obviously. Outraged populace. Yeah, the people are not too happy here, but public order is going back up. And let us go back to that, and we might as well go ahead and get astronomy. Meanwhile, this man, I just, I want to cut Byzantium off. Because they're obviously, their army is now not here anymore, so I'm assuming it's going for this settlement. I think we're, either way, we're going to pull that army back. And nothing is being seen down here. So I think we can use our spy maybe a little bit as a... As a, uh, well, no, there's not. This is all owned by Lysomer, so it's going to be really hard to find anybody to trade with. 
So we'll keep her deployed here. Meanwhile, Pergamon, everything is growing beautifully. We're recruiting, and everything is going well. Thankfully, we were able to finally stabilize a little bit of our region. And I think this is where I'm going to call today's episode. So, it's been a bit more exciting. We got a good little battle against the Brave Companions and eliminated them. The Rebellion has been quashed up here. And we have taken Pergamon, our strong foothold against Elisamach and any other enemy that we get in this campaign. So if you've enjoyed, like and subscribe and stay tuned for more. I'm extremely excited to get really deep into this overhaul. But this has been Spartan, signing off.